Hi guys, this is Mihai coming with a new video to show you one of the many things you can do with DNN Sharp products. Of course, you should already know by now, all the nice tutorials can be found on blog.dnnsharp.com slash 1001. Now, let me show you how to automatically import data into your database. I'll first show you how to do it from an action form. And then we will move the actions to be automatically done. In action form, it's easy. You have a file upload field and a button on which you execute some actions. Let's see. I already have a grid here with a database table as data source. This is the data from my table. I will export it. Save the file and use it to add another row. Let's say I'm going to add row 6 with test4 and an email address test4 at email.com. Let's save this file. So the file is saved. I select it from action form, open and click import. The actions are run and the data is in my database now. Let me show you how the form is set up. So I have a single file upload field, nothing special here, it saves the file to the template folder it in case it finds duplicates it will rename the current file no big deal here and on the import button I have two actions load entities from the comma separate value file giving a path to the um, file the field separator, separator being the comma and giving an entity name for the entity that will contain all the data from the file. Use first row as column names because that's how I have my file and then import into database from entity. Give the entity name that contains the data, give the name of the table where you want it to be imported, insert all values and merge existing values in case you want to update existing data in the database. That's all. I'm going to click back here. Let me sh uh, show you what I mean by um, update the data there. I have here test1 with test1 email. Let me modify this and change it to test11. Okay. I'm going to save the file and let's import the file again. Select the file, click open, click import, and now I have test 11 in the database. Not, it was not added as a new row, it just updated the existing one. It matches them by the primary key. In my case, the primary key is the ID column. It's the unique identifier of the element in the database. This is simple. I bet many of you have done that in the past but we live in the technology era and uh, we love to let the work on the computers now let's move all these actions to sharp scheduler and let it import the file into the database so i have my sharp scheduler here and i've created a job i called it auto importing database Let's open the job. This job runs on database insert and I will tell you why I did that. My insert in database detects whenever a file is uploaded to my DNN instance. So every time a new row is added to the files table, this job will run. Now, what does this job do? Exactly what the action form button did. Load entities from the comma separated value file 
giving the file path and import into database it's exactly the same action now the only thing I changed here is I added some conditions on the actions I want to run these actions only when files are being uploaded to the folder that I called auto import I don't want to run the import on a picture or anything like that so auto import has a folder ID of 131 whenever I have a trigger for that folder ID give the path to the file load the data into an entity and then import the entity in the database now there is a single problem here in dnn 9 i wasn't able to find how to automatically sync dnn files so to go around that i had to create an extra scheduler job this time it was in dnn's scheduler and i'll show it to you right now i have it here file sync attempt yep i have it run to set uh, at uh, every 120 seconds and this is the command dot menu dot services dot file system dot synchronize file system comma dot net new this is all you have to do so i've set this to run every 120 seconds i will change it now to less than that because I want it to run faster once I upload my file. Now, let's see if it works. I have here the connection to my server, my machine, and I already have the file. Let's open it and edit it. I will add here 7 test5 and test5 at email.com let's also modify one of the entries above let's change test3 to test33 let's save this file and here you'll find my folder auto import i will just take this file and move it to the auto import folder that's all I need to do. Now, my file is there. My scheduler job is here. Let's see the DNN scheduler. I will uh, go ahead and run it now. I won't wait for the time to go by. So the job should have run, now let's see my table, let's refresh, so the new data is here and also the modified field. Now, now imagine that uh, you don't have to copy the file yourself, most likely some kind of reports are automatically being generated by some systems, you only have to set those systems to upload the file to a folder on your DNN instance. That's easy to do. And you will always have an up-to-date database table based on imports from other services. That's it. See you soon for another video. Bye!